hey guys so um, I'm here today to do a makeup video um, it is March 29th it's March 29th and uh, we're still in quarantine here in Pennsylvania so there's nothing else to do so I'm gonna do a makeup video um, I actually put these lashes on today and, and surprisingly I'm happy with how they came out they're not perfect um, but while I'm home I'm just gonna keep practicing keep practicing because I have lashes to practice with from my mom all those empty spots are lashes that I tried and didn't work out with but I'm actually going to now they have the time try um, so I'm just gonna wipe my face I didn't put on makeup I haven't been putting on makeup um, because like I haven't been having nowhere to go. I'm not saying like I need somewhere to go to put on makeup, but if I don't have to put on makeup, I won't put on makeup. Um, unless I like feel like cleaning makeup, but yeah. So I'm just gonna wipe off my face. Um, I don't want this video to be too long because I think I'm also going to show you guys my makeup collection, which is not a lot. I downsized a lot because I was just like, hoarding makeup and I know a lot of makeup artists or people who like makeup in general do that but it's just so wasteful and it's not necessary. We are sipping on we are sipping on said wine. This is so hot. Okay. I honestly don't know why in these videos my lips look so dry. Like my last video I did, when I finally put on the lip quencher, I was like, thank God, girl, because them lips, they look dry, but they don't feel dry, and in the mirror, they don't look dry. But for some reason, this camera makes them look super, super dry. So we're just going to moisturize them. Okay. So, I am just so impressed with this, like this one in the front, though. It's like bothering me a little bit, but you know, we're not trying to draw too much attention to it. But you know, other than that, I am like impressed, Khalil. Okay, girl. So I'm just gonna do my normal routine. I am using the. This is super. I'm gonna be in here playing with my stuff, getting all filth. Okay, so we're gonna clean up the brows and we're just gonna use the Rihanna Fenty. Please, the Rihanna Fenty Trail Stick, and this is in the color Suede. Yeah, my quarantine nails are. I don't even want to talk about them. And I'm just gonna clean up the brows. Uh, yeah, I want to. So, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna hear. Like you think, like oh, you know, so. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, I've been doing YouTube videos and YouTube videos. All right, so this is the Dollar General brand Belief, and this is the eyeshadow pencil. I did like this um, eyeshadow pencil. I mean, eyebrow pencil. The believe eyebrow pencil I did like this eyebrow pencil however it is a little bit dark so I just gotta go lightly and I'm literally I want to throw this shit in the trash this was the eyebrow tint <sighs> so let's just with a light hand just fill in any sparse areas it's really like it's really like it's like a perfect match to my eyebrow hairs but like I said, you really have to tread it very, very softly with this shit because if you don't, it's a doomsday. So apply it properly, you get a pretty nice brow, you know? Look at that. She cute. Look at that one all. 
Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm just gonna mix these two together. So I'm just gonna do two pumps of this, and then I'm just, this has like one of these, which are the most unsanitary things in the world. I'm just gonna do a little swivel of that, so you see? It's pretty much as even as we wanna get. Just mix them in. So I'm gonna do the of that, you know? So yeah, I like to still see like some of my skin seeping through. Very, very natural looking. This ColourPop concealers. They're so, like, they cover all of these circles. They really do. Um, I haven't used the blue you can see it. And I'm just using a regular Eco Sanctuary, just like a flight brush for under eye. I'm just going to do the blue concealer. I'm just going to try to sink a little bit on the lid without my eye. I'm going to just put my face. Um, I don't think I finished telling you guys exactly what I am enjoying. Well, what's getting me through this quarantine? Obviously, um, <clears throat> having my daughter and my son with me because my daughter does go with her dad, and he's been okay with me keeping her. So having her home um, has really been getting me through because she's like my best bud, and I just love her being around, her energy, her vibe, everything about her. I just I'm obsessed with her. So having her around and my son, obviously he's just a character in himself. And he's just getting older and being here to see like the different changes and just being home with him and seeing how he's like, you know, just growing and everything. That is getting me through it. I know a lot of people are complaining about being home with their kids and like I can't relate because I love my kids so much and I love being home with my kids. Like, yes, I get bored <coughs> being home. Okay, so when I first had Marley, I wanted to go back to work right away because I was just, he was just a baby. Couldn't really sleep, shit, poop. I don't, I like, once I'm up, I'm up. So it's not like, oh, sleep while he's sleeping. It's, I think I um, can't do that. So now that he, like, when we nap, we nap together. Bedtime, bedtime together. Like, I'll stay up later, but I lay down with him, put him to sleep, like that type, type, type time. And then when he's up, I'm up with him, play with him, all that type stuff. So I am very interactive with my kids. And um, and when I can get my own time, like now, I got my own time, he's chilling with his dad, but I like to give his dad a break. You know, so when I can't get my own time, I take advantage of it and try to do stuff that I wanna do, i.e. take a bath, do a facial, cook, clean, like stuff like that. Um, I take that time and I do it. But for the most part, I like to spend time with my kids. Like actually, so I'll go and meet with them. We'll play dolls, we'll play Barbies, we'll color, we'll sing, we'll do TikToks, we'll do, we'll, we do stuff. Like so, I actually like being home with my kids to be able to do that because I'm. It's not a normal for me. Like normally they're in school. When I come home from work, it's just like homework, dinner, bed. So I don't get to be home with them throughout the day and spend the time with them. Like no summer break none of that and when I do take a vacation yeah but we're normally taking a vacation to go somewhere to be somewhere you know and not in your home and doing like you know so however so being home with my kids I that's getting me through quarantine um people posting on social media I love that shit so I'm just gonna take the um Too Faced translucent powder like videos um, they were doing this R&B battle crap, like all that stuff. Like, oh my gosh, it's just getting me through because um, with me not having to get up to work, I stay up a little bit later than I normally stay up. So while the kids are asleep and like I let my like, kids guy time in, watch some type of sports shit, he watch the news and stuff like that. So I need something to keep me entertained while he's watching that stuff because I, I mean, as long as somebody keeps me informed, I'm not going to sit here and watch the news for all these hours. I just I can't do it. I can't, like, I'm the type of person that's stressed about everything. So, I'll just be stressing about 
how I can't fix anything because <laughs> I can't control anything that's going on right now I can't fix it as much as I want to be able to I cannot so uh, there's no point in me stressing about it but like I need to know the importance of stuff which I do but I don't, I don't want to listen to it you know over and over again um it might sound bad but I just don't so um I'll let him get that time in to watch whatever you want to actually vote Instagram, uh, not too much Facebook because Facebook is a little bit depressing to me, but Instagram uh, stories and posts, like, I'm, I'm here for it. I wish, I like watching YouTube and YouTubers, but I wish, like, some of the people that I know, like, like my family members and friends and stuff, I wish they actually had YouTube because I want to see what they're doing. So, that's going to get me through. I'm going to use this PM kit. Uh, Models on. Mila actually got me this for... Mother's Day for Christmas, some of those. So I'm gonna use these blues. I'm really feeling the blue. I'll probably mainly use that, but I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna start with that in the crease, I think. So yeah. I'm gonna use this eyeshadow brush for the crease. This is a Luxie 237. Oh, these, uh, no close up. These nails, I cannot. Okay, guys. So I'm just gonna pop it and the crease. So I did the lashes obviously before I did makeup because I figure when I'm doing my makeup, I'm trying to not mess it up, and I think that's where I mess up. All right, so that's in crease. It's kind of dark, but whatever. I would like to know what's been getting you guys through COVID-19 down below. If you could just, you know, let us just know. <laughs> uh, for the most part, I, I mean, it's weird and it's messed up, but I try not to think too much about it because, like I said, I'm a Virgo. Well, I don't know if I said I'm a Virgo, but I'm a Virgo and I tend to just, the thinking, once it starts, it starts. So. I'm gonna take a tapered brush and I'm gonna go in with this blue color here. And I'm just gonna dab it on, on there. It looks really, really good, like not on the camera. Uh, but that could be just me as well. Um, so yeah, I've been actually getting through it. Um, every time I send Mike to the market, I went to the market today for the first time, but every time I send Mike to the market, he comes back with what I asked for. So they, they're not running out of my options, thank God. Um, obviously we got the Central's bread, milk, and eggs, juice, cheese. Um, for the kids and like the kids stuff because Mila she she's not as much of a picky eater as she used to be but she has her specifics but yeah that's blue girls um so yeah they've had all that stuff and luckily Marley eats what we eat as well so we've been pretty good on that um Toilet paper I've been good on, um, hand soap. I mean, we wash our hands and as long as we stay in the house, we're pretty, pretty good. With staying sanitized and stuff like that. Oh yes, I love this with blue guys. So, um, yeah, so we've been pretty good on the sanitizer and keeping the hands clean and keeping everything clean. And I, I clean my house with bleach. Um, so, we're just gonna refill. You guys need to refill, refill as well. I mean, Acme is my line. So, I 
that plays a big part in staying the same. Um, so I am going to do a very, very light contour. So what I use to contour is this dark radiance pressed powder, and this is in the shade Rich Mahogany. And as you can see, it's like my shade, but just a little bit. Like it's like the darker part. So now that my face is kind of toned with the lighter face, I can contour the darker shade. And I just use this. This is another Luxie 1010 Small Contour Brush. So yeah, it's like got this like dip. It's cute. And it goes right into the hollows of the cheek, just like that. See the difference? See how it just do that? Yeah. So yeah. I know what to do. I have like a natural contour though, because it's like something there already and I didn't put anything there, so just intensifies it. And I do a little bit on the nose. I go like like that. Like that, and then right here. Um, it's fine to do on me because this is like my skin complexion, so it's not like I don't have to blend it as much. A little bit on the forehead, so and that is the contour. So I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara just to make to blend my lashes with the eyelashes because I do that. And this is the Urban Decay Troublemaker and the Trouble Size. Okay. Lele Mado. Um, oh, how did you get over there? My highlight brush. So I'm gonna use this ColourPop highlighter. Um, yeah, it's a pressed highlighter. I'm gonna use my highlighter brush. This is a Vasanti concealer buffer, but I use it as a highlighter because it's just like super, super tiny. You wanna start very, very light with highlight because if not, I like to build up my highlight. I don't like it to just be harsh with it, especially with a bold eye. Here, pop. I got like a blue eyeliner. And I got this one is a blue one too. But I'm thinking, okay, so I think this is what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take this white. So I think I'm gonna take this white eyeliner and just go under the eye ever so lightly. And do it here too. Okay. And then I am going to take this like navy blue and go Right over top of it. So it makes like the blue actually like pop. And then I'm gonna 
gonna actually go back in with the eyeshadow palette and boop, boop, boop. some more guys yeah And for the lips, we're just honestly, we're gonna do a little bit of this like silver metallic color in the center. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling very creative today. And just like a clear gloss on top. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, stay home, stay safe.